Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a custom gold medallion of someone you know. This document is 8 by 8 and 3 quarter inches with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Choose a photo that has good resolution and is well lit. If it's color, press Ctrl or Command Shift plus U to desaturate it. Make sure your background is plain. If it isn't, you may need to cut the head out from its background. Call up your elliptical marquee tool, go to the center and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out a circle. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Go to the new layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This makes a new layer directly below the active layer. We'll fill the layer with black, and since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click on the top layer to make it active, and go to Filter and Filter Gallery. The Filter Gallery window will open. Open your sketch folder, and choose Base Relief. We'll make the Detail 12, the Smoothness 1, and the Light from the top left. Depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to adjust these numbers. Drag your medallion into the folder icon and we'll rename it Metal. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Color Balance. Drag the Adjustment Layer above the folder. With the Mid-Tone selected and Preserve Luminosity checked, make the Cyan Red 74, Magenta Green 25, and Yellow Blue minus 82. Choose the shadow tones and make the cyan red 20. Make the yellow blue minus 61. Choose highlights and make the cyan red 26. Make magenta green 19 and the yellow blue minus 40. Go to the clipping mask icon and click down. By clicking on this clipping mask icon, it makes the adjustment layer affect only the one layer beneath it, in this case, the medallion folder. Make the medallion active and click the FX icon. Choose Bevel and Emboss. Make the style inner bevel and the technique smooth. We'll make the depth 52% and the direction down. The size is 90 pixels and uncheck global light the angles 120 degrees and the altitude 30. Make the highlight screen opacity 57 percent and the shadow multiply opacity 60 percent. Control click or command click on the medallion to make the circular shape into a selection. Go to select and transform selection. Go to a corner and press shift and alt or shift and option and drag out a little bit. Then press enter or return. We'll make a new layer below the medallion. Control click or command click on the new layer icon. With the selection still active, click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the empty layer. Click on the empty layer to make it active and click on the foreground color. Make the brightness 50%. Fill it with the 50% gray. Remember it's yellowish golden color because of the adjustment layer. Let's see more of the layers panel by dragging it down. Click on the FX icon and choose Bevel and Emboss. We'll keep the style inner bevel and the technique smooth. We'll make the depth 52% and the direction down. Make the size 90 pixels, the highlight screen opacity 57%, and the shadow multiply opacity 60%. Control click or command click on the layer mask to make it into a selection. And then make a new layer below it. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner and drag it out as you did before. Make a layer mask and click on the empty layer to make it active. Click on the foreground color and make the brightness 40%. Fill it with the foreground color and click on the FX icon. Choose Bevel and Emboss. The style is inner bevel, technique smooth, and the direction is up. We'll make the size 50 pixels and uncheck global light. We'll make the angle 129 degrees and the altitude 58. We'll change the gloss contour to ring double. Make the highlight screen 100% and make the shadow mode normal. Make the opacity 60%. Click drop shadow and make the opacity 
the angle 147 degrees, the distance 26 pixels, the spread 5%, and the size 57 pixels. We'll place our gold medallion on this red velvet background. I provided the link to it in the video's description so you can download it directly. To get it into our gold medallion document, click down anywhere on the image and drag it up onto the tab of our gold medallion document. With your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. Notice the color of the background changed. This is because it's presently affected by the adjustment layer. We need to move the velvet out of the medallion folder. Drag it below the medallion shape. Notice the color immediately reverted back. Let's make the folds of the velvet overlap the medallion. Click on the medallion shape layer to make it active. We need to convert it into a smart object. Go to Filter and Convert for Smart Filters. Then click OK. Notice the shape and its effects are now fused together. Keep in mind if you want to change, add, or delete any of the effects, just double click on the layer to open up the original. Make a layer mask next to the smart object. Press Z to call up your zoom tool and zoom in on the lower left. Call up your brush tool and it will pick a brush size of 35 and a hardness of 0%. The blend mode is normal and the opacity 100. Brush over the part of the fold that overlaps the medallion. If you reveal too much, just press X to make your brush white and brush back in those areas. I'm going to go back to the effects of the inner ring and give them more reflective qualities. I'll change the depth to 60%, the size to 30 pixels, uncheck global light, and change the gloss contour to ring. If you want to add some text, there's enough room at the top. If not, you can crop your image by calling up your rectangle tool, going to a bottom corner, and pressing shift as you drag out a square selection. Then go to image and crop. To delete the selection, press control or command plus D. Have fun honoring someone with their own likeness embossed on a gold medallion. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.